All right, guys, welcome back to Stonehouse Acres. Uh, I need to replace the carburetor uh, in my still MS210 chainsaw. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to replace spark plugs, do a full service on it. So I did pick up uh, a service kit specific to this MS210. Got the air filter, spark plug, fuel line, Obviously, the carburetor and fuel filter. So I'm going to do a full service. This chainsaw has not been serviced in quite some time. First things first, you need to take the air filter and housing off. Eight millimeters should do the trick. Next up, I'm going to take care of the spark plug. Take off the rubber housing. Thing's pretty worn. Place it with a new one. Tighten it down. Put the rubber cap back on. Here we go, the spark plug is taken care of. Up next to get to the carb, which is right here, we have a throttle linkage that we need to take off as well as the clutch and stop linkage that we need to address. So once we get those off, we can pull the carb out. Throttle linkage. Just use a small flathead and pop it open gently and it should pop off completely. Next, we need to do the clutch linkage right here on the left side. comes out. The last thing we need to get is the throttle rod where the clutch goes up and down. We're gonna gently pop it up or at least attempt to. It's plastic, so you don't wanna break it. So just kind of work it up, there it goes. And then work it out slowly and let that rest there leave that cable plugged in if it comes out it just slides in pretty simple all right here's our fuel line i don't think i'm going to replace it today i have one if i need to um but i'm really after this car as you can see it's completely gummed up we need to get these rubber connections um kind of like exhaust hoses off. And the carb should just slide out. Being a little stubborn. All 
Oh, of course, forgot to disconnect the fuel line. Pull it off, pulled off with the needle nose. There you go. I'd wear glasses or something that thing sprayed fuel I was not prepared for, but we're all good. All right, I cleaned the plate, the back plate for the carburetor. Going to put a new cover on it. It goes that way. Okay, that's on. Now for the new carb, I got most everything clean. I don't want to spray it with air because um, I don't want to get dust and sawdust in the engine um, and the fuel line, but I think it, it'll be fine for now. All right, new carb, old carb. Pretty good difference there. This should do the trick. Need to connect the fuel line first. I got to monkey it in there after the fuel line's connected. There it goes. Push that fuel line on as best as possible. All right, next I'm going to monkey around with getting the throttle rod back into place, as well as the linkage from the throttle, or excuse me, the clutch to the carburetor. So I think this needs to be popped up. This needs to be worked back in. Now, linkage. So pop this up, get this linkage back in. There we go. Now we can go with throttle linkage. Let's 
chain in the back. Hold the throttle down. It's going to want to pop. There we go. Give that a test. Everything's working good. All right, all of our linkages are back, carburetors in. Now we're gonna put kind of our exhaust hoses back on. And this might be a little tricky as well. Hose one. Final step is air filter. Utilize the same eight millimeter. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is replace the fuel filter. This is tough to get to. Highly recommend just a needle nose. I monkeyed around with it for quite some time and finally got it. You're just gonna pop it. And then when it's on the fuel line, you want to make sure it lays flat in the fuel tank. All right, pretty quick service on this MS-210. We did a spark plug, air filter, new carburetor, uh, and new fuel filter. Um, put the cover back on. Pretty simple. Latch it in. We'll go give it a whirl.